Hey guys, it's Electric Boys, and I'm back with another video on the new DLC Awakening. T today I'm going to be playing the new zombie map, and I'm going to be showing you how to get the electric bow, so it's just a tutorial on that, and I thought we'll get into it. First you have to turn on the power, obviously, because it's the all zombie happen. games. And then, y when you get the bow, you have to shoot that north, east, west, and south sign, and make that line on top go crazy. And then a broken arrow will come out of the bricks. The broken arrow normally comes out around about in this spot. And then you got to do some steps. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So, the first step is up on that tower. But first, I want to give a good shout out to Red5279. He helped me with this video. There's always that one zombie that really annoys you. So, Red said he would train it around for me so then I don't die during this video. But that pot like wood that I just looked at, you gotta set that on fire with your bow. So you have to shoot that, so then a big burst of fire comes out the top of it. Bam. There you go. There's two others that you have to do exactly like that, and then that's the first step done of this tutorial. The next one is over here. There's three spots you can get it from. The first spot would be around about here. The next spot is just down here in this little house thing. The next spot is my personally my favourite because it is the easiest spot to shoot it from I reckon just because it's so open and you can see it so clearly. It's just down here on the spawn off the balcony right there. Uh, it's quite hard to see, but if you just watch this tutorial, obviously you'll be able to see it. It'll wait till a big burst of fire comes out the top of it. Alright, the next one is down in the, at the rocket. I the zombie dies, but that's alright. Jack protects me while I do this. And, um, so you, that, now you're going to shoot that one. You just come out the doors and to your right up on the mountain. There it is. And as you can see in the left hand corner, it comes up with a quarter of mine done. Jack was doing his, so he's overlaid mine, but that's alright, you should have seen mine at first. But that means there's a, it's a quarter of a way done. The next step, you've got to come down into the period ritual room. And you've got to activate all these pads. I've already activated three, I'm just activating this last one. And then you got to run around this wall. And these little symbols like that one and that flashing one right there you got to get every single one of them around the wall that one and then when you've done all that that's another, that's half of it done this one's a pretty simple step but that's all right see half of it done as you can see it's just coming out the left side of Nikolai's head alright this next step this electrical thing right there on the ground you got to shoot them so then the souls absorb straight into the electrical urn. And when you've done that, you go up to your bow, you hold in an arrow, so electric comes off the fire. And then you've got to go to those planks of logs, and then shoot it, so then electric comes off the fire. It's pretty cool how the electric comes off the fire, but when you've done all that, it's that's the second step. Oh, the third step, not the second one. The other two I'm going to show you right now, one's up in the castle, it's hidden, but you, it's still pretty easy to do. But you wouldn't want to stay in these places too long, they're very small and easy to die. As you see, you sh kill them, the thing goes into the urn, and then you got to shoot the electric at the um, plank of wood just around the other side of this castle at the start of the video. Okay, that one's finished. Next one is you go down that bridge. It's just in this room. It's in the corner. This one is probably my least favorite. It's very, very, very hard to do. Because I went down when I was doing this, but I just cut that out. But yeah, it's like the hardest bit to do. As you can see, I've gone down. Kaboom. My friend comes and revives me because Red's amazing. And he helped me out this video. This is what I mean by if you don't have a friend to do this, it is quite hard, but it's not as hard as you think. Okay, here he is. I'm not angry. When you do this electrical urn, you have to shoot it at that plank of wood. It's very hard to do it um, 
at down at the my favourite spot because otherwise you're gonna hold it and then you're gonna walk all the way down there. So I just go straight out of that thing and shoot them. So yeah, all you gotta do is shoot those planks of wood with the electrical urn. It's not that hard. I don't think I'll need to show you. So yeah, you just hold in your arrow, wait until electric comes off the fire, shoot it, make sure the fire, but like the fire bursts into electric, and there's the third step done. All right, the last step, you have to go just exactly where you got it from, put it in the electric stuff that will be floating there. The arrow will float up, then float back down in a normal bonded arrow, and then you have to go down to the electric the Illuminati room as me and my friend call it it's actually just the pyramid ritual room but we're down here at the moment and you gotta go up to the box put the fixed arrow in the box it should be on the door if you come in it should be on your right you see it because there's like a big electric symbol on it so then you gotta shoot it, shoot all the zombies right next to it and then souls will absorb into it and when it's done you put your bow in it got is it down and then comes back up as of the electric bow. Here is the electric bow. It is really really useful if you know how to use it, and it's probably really good if you need to revive teammates. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.